would just try to come back to the topic of the day actually a little bit because it, I, as far as I remember it's about how to create sustainable cooperation between India and Denmark. And I actually, and I, and I actually think um, that uh, we in Denmark, we are a very small country compared to India. And I actually think that we can get a lot more out of India than India can get out of Denmark uh, from a cooperation point of view. Because, first of all, there's a very big domestic market in India, and, uh, and th which actually allows you to establish yourself in India and not only make a sweatshop where you cannot actually uh, attract the right people and you cannot keep the right people on board. So you need to build up workplaces where the, it's interesting, it's R&D, it's science, it's development. But you can do that and you can allow to do that when you have a very big domestic market. So this is, this is one thing. Another thing, we have, because we are a small country, and we have been under constant pressure and high salaries, under constant pressure of optimizing things in Denmark. To take a life uh, cycle approach in Denmark, we are quite good in energy, etc. And there, India, power, this is one of the biggest constraints we have in India. We just heard it now. Of course, you need to get the product design right, so the products can take all these spices. But, but, uh, but I think it's very important or to, to, we have to realize that we can actually, uh, our value proposition in Denmark, if I can put it, is, could actually be uh, very helpful in India. So it's not only about price in India, but it's about explaining uh, what is it really, uh, what are all the features in our products, etc. So, so I, think, I think this is something where, where we really can, can help India actually, and it has a lot to do. I know it's much more easy when you're a big company to establish yourself in India compared to a small organization. But my, my advice would be that people should not fear India, right? Of course, you have to respect culture. You have to know that you have to ask a lot of questions with W's, right? Why and when and, and how, etc. Instead of just asking the driver, I want to be in the airport in one hour. And then he, of course, always would say yes. <laughs> and you will never be there in one hour. <laughs> you have to say, when can I be in the airport? And then there will be completely silence. And then you start thinking, maybe in one and a half hours, sir. And then you said, fine. And then you just leave one and a half hour before. And this is the same, the same goes with meetings. So you have to respect the culture. But as soon as you overcome that, then India is a fantastic country. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much.